Times like this, it occurs to me we were lied to by the Jetsons. What are you talking about? According to that show, we were supposed to be tooling around in flying cars by now. Yeah, well, most of us rational thinkers weren't banking on a cartoon to offer us a viable glimpse into the future of technological development. Hey, what would you be willing to trade for the flying car? What do you mean? Say some German scientist comes up to you and he says, I have invented the flying car. I'll give it to you on one condition. Well, what's the condition? He's not going to tell you. Then it's no deal. The guy is offering you the flying car. You gonna look a gift horse in the mouth? Just take the car, man. Not until I know what the catch is. Fine. The catch is you've got to cut off a foot. <laughs> no way. Are you saying you wouldn't cut off your foot for the flying car? You're that selfish. It's my foot. How am I supposed to walk? What walk? You'll have the flying car. After that, you can buy like 50 prosthetic feet. Well, which foot? Right or left? Your choice. Okay, I'll trade my left foot for the flying car. So it's a deal then. Your foot for the flying car. You're sure? Yes, I'm sure. You can't welch. I won't welch. Because the whole world is counting on you. What the hell kind of scientist is this guy anyway? One with a lot of free time on his hands. And a foot fetish. So, then what happens is you find out the guy's gonna take off your foot with a hacksaw. What? And no anesthetic. Oh, screw that. Come on, it's part of the deal. You didn't say that before.